here's Monsoon on the hard, getting the anti-foul done and sorting the keel out. We took the old anti-foul off right down to fiberglass substrate. Uh, you can see a bit of the anti-foul there above the keel. A Wesley grinding the keel, all the rust from the trellises off that keel. There's Wesley grinding away the old anti -fire. See that old blue paint? As I said, we took it right down. Here's a sh nice shot of the, the pitted hull, the rust on it, yes, uh, it all caused by electrolysis. What we did was we ground all the rust out, put a rust inhibitor on, and then epoxied over that, a couple of coats of epoxy and filler, and then fared it off. Over that was another epoxy primer and then the anti foul primer and anti foul. It was a lovely, gorgeous winter's day at World Cup. What a breath of wind! Here we are at the beginning of September. You can see the dings in the nose have been filled and primed. And there's the first coat of the new anti foul going on. Top sides have been buffed, all the vinyl stripes and the name have been taken off. We'll replace those later. There's the keel, uh, looking gorgeous, obviously touching up. I really should change those fenders. A bit of growth on there. There's the rudder, rudder stock. It's nicely primed, ready for anti foul. Replacing all the bushes in the rudder as well. See the top sides have been primed, ready for final spray. Get rid of all the dings that were there. The wind was howling, uh, 25, 30 knots, so they couldn't spray today. There's a nice shot of the primer, the anti foul primer. Um, there's a rudder support, um, all ready for anti foul. Looking good. One coat would go on today and then tomorrow, uh, Sunday the 4th, second coat of antifa will go on. Then we just need a weather window out a howling wind to touch up the top sides and get the spray paint down. Then hopefully we'll be back in the water. You can see the tablecloth screaming over the table. Thunder Child being prepared for the Rio race. Strapped down to avoid being blown over in the Howling Southeaster. The worst places to be in Cape Town.